Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Mr. Woods, and I'm here to talk with you and give you an update about the math fluency, about other things, and just to have a discussion. You know, I've had some people ask me, they said, hey, you know, what about uh, the Common Core? And I'm like, well, we're working on that. I'm showing you the mechanics of the Common Core math. And that brought up a discussion with another about reading comprehension. You see, reading comprehension is a key for today's mathematics. If your child is working with the Common Core State Standards and any tests that, are, that go along with that, whether it be ST Math, iReady Math, or some other uh, distance learning uh, mechanism, or CGI Math, they have to be able to pull out important information from the problem. And if they are not able to read or their reading comprehension is low, they will struggle if, if, if they could even get to do any of the problems. I know many students have great mechanical math capabilities. I mean, they're, they're, they do wonderful if you tell them what to do. Is this an addition problem, Mr. Woods? Is this a... Uh, addition problem, a subtraction problem, what, you know, what they're just looking at for some guidance on how to set the problem up, to set up that uh, mathematical equation or number sentence. Uh, I have personal knowledge about this. My daughter, she struggled with math. And finally I sat down with her English language arts teacher and their mathematics teacher because I had an idea because her, she was struggling with her reading comprehension. And when the the reading teacher, or the English, English arts teacher, uh, took it on and said, hey, we're going to help her with her reading comprehension. Wouldn't you know it, her math scores came up. And then she started excelling in mathematics. You know, and, well, she did well. Let's just say that. And, and I was so proud of her and how she was able to um, bring up her reading comprehension and then that brought up her math grade. You know, it, it made it, it, it took the pressure off of her to perform in math for a while and it gave her enough time to bring up that, that reading comprehension level. So you've been noticing that I've been most of the problems I put out there are or the way we're working is it's all the mechanics. And I'm going to be switching shortly here from the mechanics to more of the uh, Common Core State Standard type of uh, problem solving. And that's going to be pulling out information from the problem. Uh, setting up the number sentence, determining uh, the best method to go forward. And we're going to look at different strategies and models on how to solve those problems. And I want to keep that going. I want to keep your student engaged with that. But please, if they need help with reading, get them the help with reading. Not with math, because the math should come after the reading comes with that. And then finally, I want to thank you all for subscribing or viewing uh, Mr. Woods Teaches. It's been a great journey since this last March of 2020. I'm going to still continue. I've been busy teaching second grade, and that's been taking a little bit of time because uh, of my time, and I haven't been able to produce as much as I wanted to. And part of that is because I'm learning some new platforms as well on how to deliver uh, classes and instruction via the internet and that uh, so I'm under some pressure there too but I'm getting through it I've gotten to the point now where it's fairly easy I know where to go and I understand how to deliver the uh, the instruction in a meaningful way that's can be understood by my students and then finally I want to give a shout out my friend Yvette her grandson Keegan I saw him and I, I remember her going hey Keegan come on over here it's Mr. Woods from Mr. Woods Teaches you know, and that was almost a two-hour drive from here. And, and I, I love seeing people out in the wild as well. You know, there's others in my neighborhood. Um, I've had, heard other people say, hey, there's Mr. Woods Teaches. They recognize me in, my, in the area that I live in and in my hometown. So if you're out there, thank you very much. Continue to watch and please share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe so you can get the latest videos on time. I'm Mr. Woods, and remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math, and math fluency replaces math anxiety. Thank you all, 